Now, one of the most common things that you're going to want to edit on your site, uh, other than the site pages itself, is your menu. And doing so is actually quite simple. Uh, when you're logged into your site and you're on your home page, you can simply go up to where your site name is, hover over it, and click menus. Or if you're in your site admin dashboard, it will be under appearance menus. And once you're in here, you're just you have a nice drag and drop interface that actually gives you a nice, easy way to build the hierarchy of your menus. Uh, so you can drag and drop up and down to create order, or you can indent to create hierarchy. So one indent in will create a sub menu. So as you can see here under the about us, we have a nice drop down. And then we can also create a second level of hierarchy. If we were to save this, we can create two levels. Um, and then of course, we also have our mega menus, which are of course graphical menus that typically have pictures inside them. And so those are simply controlled by hovering over these and you find the mega menu button. Um, the more general settings for this are found over here. And then you can actually get into the savings or settings for this by clicking on this button. And this will bring you to the settings and layout and widget screens for this. Uh, the graphical menus that we create or the mega menus are created through our widget called the inflatable office featured product widget. You can edit it by clicking edit. And then once you're in here, the content that is shown is simply ascertained by your choices here. So the categories page allows you to select a page and simply mirror its content. This is really the best way to think of how this works. So if you were to click on all items, just like the all items page, it's going to list everything on your website. Clicking concessions would list all of the items inside the concessions category. Um, you can also go down from there and just select individual items out of your individual website to build custom categories. The other thing to know about these is you're not limited to one. You could take one, then take another widget, say take and add uh, text, which I can't, don't actually see, here we are, text. And then you can stretch it out to the full six columns and you could add another one of these and you could create custom categories, uh, you, which you could do, say you're running a special on certain things uh, and you don't actually have it categorized like that in IO. Uh, this is a quick and easy way to create custom categories that people can explore through your menu. Uh, so just some things to play with. Um, everything's fairly intuitive in here. Uh, so just get in here and play with things. And always remember, you can always uh, restore your site if you mess something up. But well, that's all for this. Thank you, guys, everybody. Have a great day.